Can this spicy thread ripper be cooled by a $30 heatsink? Kind of. How do I know this? I'm an idiot that forgot to order a heatsink for my new cloning station, and only realized it after I installed the CPU. So like your mother the night of your conception, I desperately searched for any pipe that would get the job done. And that's when I found the greatest air cooler that's ever lived, the Thermalright Peerless Assassin 120SE. The same cooler that I abuse on my personal PC. But since I don't have any mounting hardware, I can only hope the combo of spermal paste and gravity will allow my raw dog to work. But there's only one way to find out, and that's by turning it on and running a stress <laughs> test. Ah, that explains it. After respawning, I'm able to verify these used parts work. So I check the temps, and much to my surprise, they're absolutely normal. Even though the heatsink doesn't cover the whole IHS, there's still enough contact to prevent it from throttling. But under a stress test, it begins sharding, so I do what only the greatest technician that's ever lived can do with an unstable system. Update the BIOS.